Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 8th, 9th, and 10th, the weekend, for my Sagittariuses. Hello, my Sagittariuses. How are you? Well, you know, weekends, I, well, I just generally use my two Radley Valentine decks, but for the weekend, I, my main message comes from my Angel Tarot cards. And then I try to pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading and may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Light, the energies are getting lighter, even though we do have that full moon on the 7th. Things will be revealed. Um, and that full moon in Scorpio does affect the 8th, 9th, and 10th. You will feel that. Now, but there are things being revealed, and I do feel energies getting lighter and lighter and lighter. They're already started. It may not be happening where you're at, but um, it will be happening. So, you know, we just really have to remember to, all, to, to be smart. Be smart and, um, you know, just be, just be smart. Okay? So, let's go on here now. I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it comes through. Three cards are face down. The middle one's reversed, so that says, hey, pay attention, a little stronger energy. So let's see what we have for our Sagittarius's for the weekend. First card up is the Knight of Earth. This has been coming up a little bit, a lot this time. So maybe, maybe as things are shifting again, um, you know, with you know, with everything going on, this has been coming up for, of uh, you know, for a lot of other signs. It's about getting ready, getting ready to go back to work, starting work, getting ready to get the things done that you need to get the things done with, okay? Earth energy, and this is also about you getting ready to get that money back in your pocket, okay? So, you could be hearing some news. Um, there could be some shifts in, shift changes in your job, uh, so be aware of that, um, you know, you're, you know, you need to, you, you, you are somebody that's just going to grab it and just run with it. Okay. So anyway, earth energy is Taurus. We're in Taurus. It's also Virgo, Capricorn, solid energy, something, someone you can touch. It's also money, money from an opportunity, money, maybe from job. It could also be somebody's buying a house and, you know, and this is that time again, you're putting the money down and you're taking the house, you know. And I, when I say house, it's some sort of a home. It could be a, you know, an apartment also. It could be some sort of move, and you're ready to now get into that. But again, it's, you know, you're, you're taking the energy, and you're running with it, and you are just like, nope, let's get things done. Anyway, Knight of Earth is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. Now remember, too, when I see that, Make sure you connect, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you. This card's reversed. Here we go. The six of earth. This is, you know, this really feels like this is about a job or a career change. Um, it could be, though, a really wise investment also, like maybe that home, you know, um, or it could be something even bigger. But this is kind of has that balanced energy, has kind of, even though this is an earth energy again, it does kind of have that Libra balance scales energy, but this is about getting money. So I don't know, this could be that a new job or returning to your work or returning to your business or your business is paying off, okay? that Somebody needed to hear that too, that you're going to hear good news about receiving money for your business. Anyway, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities. So again, there might be some changes. Remember the shift the shift, S-H-I-F-T, changes, um, where you actually get more money from that. So you could be getting a raise from that job, too. Uh, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debt. Your last card up is the five of fire. Now, the only problem with getting your money, going back to work, you know, or getting your new job, or getting your new career started, or your new business started, all of that, Fire energy is your energy, and it's also Aries and Leo, passionate, burning, determined. And there just might be too much you've got to do, you know, so keep yourself organized, okay? So, you know, you might you might feel like you went from, you know, zero to 60 in a matter of a minute. I don't, you know, so, it, you know, it's just like, wait a minute, whoa, I, you know, you might feel a little out of control. 
you might feel like, you know, just things are moving too fast for you. But the thing is, my Sagittarius is, you get on the program, you get it done, you take charge of it, you, you organize it, you get it back into where it needs to be. Anyway, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Now, that's the other thing is that my Sagittarius is always be aware of whoever that is. Whoever that is that all, you know, I feel like there's somebody that always wants your job that you've had to struggle and, you know, you've, and you, you've, you've just been like, you want, you know, if they wanted you, they should have just taken you. I don't want to have to struggle with you. It's not worth it to me. But they chose you. Remember that. Whoever it was, they chose you over that other par person, whoever needed to hear that. So you have to own that. You know, it's, it, hey, you can't help that other, you can't. You weren't the one to make the decision about that other person. That just, that's, you know, so you have to let go. If there's anything that's kind of like holding on to you with that, let that go. Your last card is reversed. Here we go. The Nine of Michael. So here, this kind of talks about what we were just talking about. Michael is air energy. It is our Gemini Libra. It's also our Aquarius energy. Again, whoever, whatever that energy is, whoever that person that always, it seems like, and then they, they just nitpick. They just nitpick. They come in and say, well, this could have been done differently. And then it makes you kind of go, well, you know, because you look at things from, you know, all the angles you're thinking, could it? And you're like, no, trust in your decisions, my Sagittarius. Trust them. Okay. Anyway, the nine of Michael, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Let that go. Give that to your higher power. That's that person, okay? Whoever it was, they chose you, okay? Because they know you can deliver. So, hope that makes sense to you, my Sagittarius. Anyway, remember the buttons down there, the thumbs up. No thumbs down, as always, too, you know, there's lots and lots of gifted readers out there. And if, you know, if we don't connect, try one of them. You will. You will. As always, my Sagittarius, is know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.